Honolulu police are looking for two suspects in a double homicide in Waianae last night that left a father and son dead. Jen Boniza joins us from HPD headquarters with more. Jen. Joe, police say that they believe the incident, the shooting, was not an accident. I spoke to a member of the Kaleopu family who tells me that he thinks that Solomon Kaleopu III was targeted and that Solomon's father was shot just because he was there. 65-year-old Solomon Kaleopu Jr. and 39-year-old Solomon Kaleopu III were gunned down Tuesday night in the garage fronting their home in Waianae. Police say they are looking for two suspects who were driving a black Toyota Tacoma. Reports were that just prior to the incident, a black truck had, uh, had parked fronting the scene. Um, two suspects had gotten out of the truck, fired a number of shots into the carport of the, of the residence, and jumped back into the truck and fled. Police say it looks like the Kaleopus may have been targeted. You know, it doesn't appear that at, at this time that it was random. It, it does seem like it was targeted, but we don't have any specific, specific information to substantiate it. I, I don't think it was a random, random shooting. I met with David Peterson, the cousin of Solomon Jr. This is a real shock for all of us. Peterson tells me he believes the shooters were looking for Solomon Clay Opa III, who they call Bay Boy. Apparently, the day before last night, he supposedly robbed uh, a game game room out there in Waianae. So for me, that was, um, you know, immediately that was my first thought. It had something to do with that. Peterson says Bay Boy had gotten into trouble with the law. Really, after that, I think Bay, Bay Boy's personal life was just spiraling out of control. Peterson tells me that Solomon Clay Opu Jr. was likely just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Really, this was senseless because Solomon has never hurt anybody in his life. The shooting is still under investigation. Sources tell me that a black Toyota truck fitting the description of the truck that was used in the shooting last night was seized today in Waianae. The two people who were in the truck were also brought in on unrelated warrants. Police are not able to confirm if the two incidents are related. Live from the Honolulu Police Department, Jen Boniza, KH12 News. Back to you, Joe.